Well, as usual, the, uh, some of the right-wing uh, wing nuts, as they are called, are actually barking up the wrong tree. And, uh, you know, to call uh, um, Obama a socialist um, is probably pretty idiotic um, when you consider that he's um, had big financing from big corporations. Um, the uh, very capitalist system that uh, the, um, the lunatic fringe wants to uphold as is. And by as is, I mean uh, the kind of robber baron uh, capitalism that is going on today in which they abhor themselves because they're saying, hey, big government should get out of our lives. Uh, what they don't seem to realize is that the corporations own the government. And so, as I say, barking up the wrong tree as usual. Here's a, here's a little tidbit from uh, Amy Goodman, who is uh, just about as pissed off as I am regarding the Democratic Party and Obama. It looks like it was business as usual uh, for President Barack Obama on the first day of his Martha's Vineyard vacation, as he spent five hours golfing with Robert Wolf, president of UBS Investment Bank, and chairman and CEO of UBS Group Americas. Wolf, an early financial backer of Obama's presidential campaign, raised $250,000 for him back in 2006, and in February was appointed by the president to the White House's Economic Recovery Advisory Board. Economic recovery for whom? Interesting, interestingly, Wolf, Wolf's appointment came in the same month that UBS agreed to pay the United States $780 million to settle a civil and criminal charge related to helping rich people in the United States to avoid paying taxes. Not to worry, UBS, an ailing bank, with a pre-existing condition, had great insurance coverage. It was actually receiving $2.5 billion in a backdoor bailout from bailed-out insurance agent AIG. UBS, which once stood for Union Bank of Switzerland, was founded more than a century ago. Its success hinges on Switzerland's famous uh, famous banking secrecy laws, allowing people to squirrel money away in untraceable numbered accounts. Secret Swiss bank accounts have become a favorite way for wealthy people in the U.S. to dodge taxes. And this is not just for wealthy people in the U.S., it goes for wealthy, wealthy people all over the world. Some of the worst uh, dictatorships, uh, Mobutu being one of them, uh, you know, <laughs> had all their stashed away money in Swiss bank accounts, by the way. So, <clears throat> according to the U.S. Senate, uh, U.S. Senate's Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, uh, in a July 2008 report, from at least 2000, the year 2000 to 2007, UBS made a concerted effort to open accounts in Switzerland for wealthy U.S. clients employing practices that could facilitate and have resulted in tax evasions by U.S. clients. As part of this settlement, this new settlement, UBS agreed to share client account information with the United States government. While there may be as many as 52,000 such accounts by U.S. account holders alone, UBS is releasing only about 4,400 names. Internal Revenue Service Commissioner uh, Doug Schulman said in a press release we'll be receiving an unprecedented amount of information on taxpayers who have evaded their tax obligation by hiding money in offshore bank accounts. UBS will be sending account holders notification that their names may be among those delivered to the IRS 
In the IRS, here it comes, in the IRS, in turn, is granting leniency to tax dodgers who turn themselves in before September the 23rd. Account holders won't know if their names are included, though <coughs> account holders won't know if their names are included. So gamblers amongst them will, <laughs> will want to keep quiet and hope that their accounts stay secret just as they always have. Last Friday, as Wolf was preparing for his golf game with Obama, UBS whistleblower Bradley uh, Birkenfeld was sentenced to 40 months uh, in prison for facilitating offshore tax evasion through UBS banking schemes, despite assisting federal investigators in, opposing, in uh, exposing these secret accounts. Above the entrance to UBS's headquarters in Zurich is a bust of the Greek god Hermes. Not only the fleet-footed messengers of a messenger of the gods, but also the god of thieves and merchants. The symbolism is striking. This is an article written by Amy Goodman, and I'll try to post a link to it. It's all a big scam, folks. So, no, you, Obama is not a socialist. And uh, some of the teabaggers have been convinced that he is. He's not. So, guess what, guys? You're barking up the wrong tree. This is a disaster all the way around.